This weekend, the question from my video from last week was answered as to whether the UK government or just bad weather was to blame for the lower numbers of refugees crossing the channel. Since 2018, the British government has been recording how many migrants come ashore via the English Channel. On Saturday, there were 872 people. That's a record with an aftertaste. More migrants than ever before in one day this year have crossed the English Channel to Great Britain on small boats. And the British news agency PA reported on Sunday, citing government data, that these 872 people reached the coast irregularly on Saturday. The previous daily record was 756 arrivals on August 10th. In August, 5,369 migrants arrived, more than ever in one month since records began in 2018. In total, almost 21,000 people made it to Great Britain on this dangerous route this year, fewer than at the same time last year. An important argument for Brexit was that Great Britain would then be able to control more closely who comes into the country. Since then, however, irregular migration has increased significantly. The Conservative British government is now using drastic laws as a deterrent, which obviously don't work so far. Those who enter the country without permission are to be interned and deported, regardless of their personal circumstances. Critics speak of an asylum ban. So far, however, Prime Minister Rishi Sunak's measures have failed to reverse the trend. More and more people dare to cross from France to Great Britain. And at the same time, companies in China and Turkey are probably making a business model out of this. Companies in China and Turkey produce rubber dinghies that are apparently made specifically for transporting refugees across the English Channel. This is reported by the Daily Mail, citing British authorities. I know the mail, be careful. The boats are used by smugglers to bring 50 to 70 migrants across the channel at a time. So they are larger than standard inflatable boats and can be bought online or in stores. The newspaper quotes from police circles. These boats are apparently specially designed to transport a larger number of people than can normally be safely transported in a rubber dinghy. There is no other commercial use for this type of boat. It was also said that the boats would not meet any standards. They are not designed for the wind and sea conditions that are usual in the English Channel, they say. According to the report, investigations have also revealed that the boats are temporarily stored in Germany, the Netherlands or Belgium after they have been ordered in China or Turkey. From there, they would be taken to the French uh, Channel city of Calais for the crossing. And meanwhile, as I said, the number of migrants arriving in Britain via the channel hits this new daily record. Um, by the way, when I speak English, of course, I say English Channel because that's the name they use. Um, others would, in translation, would just say the channel or we say the sleeve channel, Ärmelkanal. But um, it doesn't change that it's a dangerous crossing that still a lot of people really try. In summer, due to the favorable weather conditions, a particularly large number of migrants undertake the dangerous journey in small boats across the busy channel. As I said earlier, um, and that's government statistics, more than 21,000 have arrived in Great Britain this way since the beginning of the year already. Although that was fewer than in the same period last year, the influx of the Conservative government in London is still uh, is still causing the influx is causing headaches for the for the government there and border security was indeed tightened after britain left the eu and sunak has made the containment of migration one of the government's top priorities you will remember the slogan stop the boats and his government classifies entry via the english channel as legal without permission and the right to apply for asylum should be denied in such cases more than 100,000 migrants have entered the country since British authorities began counting the arrivals via the English Channel in 2018. And the British asylum system is overall overwhelmed. According to figures from late June, there is a backlog of more than 175,000 people, including many children, awaiting an initial asylum decision. 
In addition, accidents with numerous fatalities occur again and again when attempting to cross the English Channel. And according to plans by Home Secretary Suella Braverman, people who arrive in Britain irregularly are to be deported to Rwanda in the future. Corresponding negotiations with the government in Rwanda have already taken place. Instead of getting a chance to apply for asylum on, on British soil, affected migrants should then ask for protection in the African country, although they never wanted to. The project was initially stopped by a court and heavily criticized by the opposition and civil society, but the government seems to want to stick to the idea. But we are still waiting for another court decision and then we will know a bit more. And if you want to know more about current UK politics or Brexit, the next video is right here on the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.